Hello, this is a small tutorial to how to use the community checker. And before we start, uh, please make sure you have Python installed. You can get it from the Microsoft store. Just follow the link I've um, placed into the description. It will lead you directly to the Microsoft store where you can download it for free. And after you did that, you can download the community checker file and unpack it. And you can place it wherever you want on your PC, just uh, somewhere you can find it. I recommend uh, you leave it in the download um, directory. It's the easiest way to find. So if you can open it, and now we can start with executing it. First, we need to open the terminal. Just open your search bar and type CMD and just press enter. And you will have this small terminal window. And now we need to tell the terminal where our file is located where our community checker.py file uh, is. So we go back into the directory and here at the top bar, we copy the address to the folder and go back to the terminal and type in CD and just paste in the path and press enter. And you will see in the next line, it will have as the address to the directory and now we can execute our file um for uh, yeah um you can just copy the name of the file it's the easiest way and then just type in python and you can just paste in the community tracker.py the file name and then we need to tell the script where our community folder is. In my case, I have a separate location, which means um, my path will be not the normal path to the app data path. Uh, app data path. And so you just need to find where you have your community folder. If you use this tool, I think you know where it is. So we open it. We copy the path and just insert it and we can press enter and you will see uh, it gives us a list of all the files which might have uh, or might not work. And in my case, I it found 24 problems and we see which uh, files uh, we need to check. And for example, we can look maybe into QI5 and just search it in our community folder and there it is. And yes, if we go in it, you'll see uh, there is a file in or another directory. And if we go into that, we see there's the modification. So Microsoft Flight Simulator won't load the scenery because it looks into the folder and it only sees these two directories and don't see any script or layout or um, uh, file which indicates that it's uh, a uh, an add-on which it can load. So to fix it, it's, uh, we just need to copy the directory, yeah. copy it, go back to our community and press and just paste it in. And you will see it will start to load. And after that, okay, I already have this modification loaded, so I just skip it. And now it should be loaded, and you just can go through the list and check if there are, if you're missing some, if you're not sure if everything is loading into your flight simulator, just run it, and you will see if there are any problems. And yeah, thank you for your, your patience. And I hope I saved you some time checking uh, <laughs> your community folder. Bye bye.